Greetings literature lovers. Let's continue with the Caribbean literature. And the next writer we are talking about is Julie yeah, Alvarez. Born March 27, 1950. Is a Dominican American poet, novelist and essayist. Born in New York of Dominican descent. She spent the first 10 years of her childhood in Dominican, Dominican Republic until her father's involvement in the political rebellion forced her family to flee the country. Alvarez rose to prominence with the novels How the Gracia Girls Lost Their Accents in the Time of Butterflies and Yo. Her publications as a poet include Homecoming and The Woman I Kept to Myself and as an essayist, the autobiographical completion, something to declare. Many literary critics regard her to be one of the most significant Latin writers and she has achieved critical and commercial success on an international scale. Many of Alvarez's works are influenced by her experiences as a Dominican in the United States and focus heavily on issues of assimilation and identity. Her cultural upbringing as both a Dominican and an American in evident in the combination of personal and political tone in her writing. She is known for her works that examine cultural expectations of women both in the Dominican Republic and United States and for rigorous investigations of cultural stereotypes. In recent years, Al Reyes has expanded her subject matter with works such as In the Name of Salim, a novel with Puban rather than solely Dominican characters and fictionalized versions of historical figures. Now the next island is Trinidad. It was a Spanish colony until 1797. It was never a French colony, yet French had regard greatly influenced its history and culture. This happened, of course, because of the influx of French immigrants in late 1700s, a result of the cedula of population inviting foreign Catholics to settle in Trinidad. Together, they ensured that refused African French culture would be dominant in Trinidad for many years to come in language French and Creole religion French from Catholic Roman Catholicism the expressive arts dance music folklore festivals and so on the Spanish influences were largely through not clearly eclipsed the landowners, the holders of the enslaved laborers continued to be British. They and their slaves, mostly people kidnapped in Africa and bought on the infamous Middle Passage and their descendants, descendants ensured that Tobago's culture would continue to be an African British fusion. After 1803, Tobago remained a supreme separate British colony until unification with Trinidad. In British colony of Trinidad and Tobago, which came into being in 1889. The formal end of British colonialism, of course, came on 31st August. 1962. That's all for today. Thanks for being part of it.